Jasmine thanks for joining me today this video I'm going to show you how to do a full sew in with a lace closure it really won't be like a full like detailed but I tried to get as much information and as much footage as I could for you guys bear with me um, I'm going to start doing more of these tutorials these videos for you guys so that you can kind of see exactly what I do because I am a licensed hairstylist here in Michigan so let's get into it the first thing I'm going to start off with is clean blow-dried hair I'm going to be doing a lace closure sew-in middle part so first you want to start with a really good flat foundation and that's pretty much what I'm doing right here um, I just braid everything back and then I interlock the braids as I go so I'm pretty much left with one braid in the back but because the hair was a little thick I had to kind of work around it so long as you make sure your braid your ba braid pattern is like really flat and straight you could just kind of sew those pieces down so that it all lays flat <laughs> Now I do use a net with my lace closure sew-ins, especially my middle part, it's just a personal preference. So that's what you see the net there. Now moving along to this hair, this is the newest closure on the market you guys, or unless I'm late, I don't know, but new for me, this is a two by six lace closure, perfect for middle parts when I tell you listen this middle part closure is just everything because it's six part is six inches straight back and it's only two inches wide so it's perfect if you want it to lay flat you get that long part which makes your installs look even more natural and I literally cannot wait to start doing more of these because oh my gosh it was so easy so flat and just flawless so anyway what I'm doing is I'm just anchoring the side first and once I anchor that I'm just going to sew half of the side down and then I'm going to go to the other side and do pretty much the same thing and let me know if you want a if you guys want a more detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a lace closure sewing or like just how to install the lace closures because I know they can be very tricky at times just give me a thumbs up also give me a thumbs up if y'all are here for this two by six lace closure like let's get it okay whoever invented this thank you When you're installing your closures and frontals, you guys, it is totally fine to have your client help you, especially when you want it to lay flat. So having my client hold down that lace just so that I can finish sewing down everything so that that front part don't slide back because it can happen. It happened to me so many times and y'all not cute. But anyway, look at this. You guys, when I tell you no bleach knots, no plucking, nothing I just put this closure on it was ready to go like oh, I just I love it anyway finishing up you guys I go from side to side then I'm going to just pretty much go completely around and finish sewing that down and baby we good okay so here's where I go in and cut the lace um, before I cut the lace, I'm going to part a little bit of hair and have my client hold that down so that I can anchor that lace onto that braid underneath. That way it will lay really flat because even if you do pull the sides down, you're still going to have that buckle that lift right where that lace is in the front of the part. So I'm going in and for my lace closures, you guys, I use a nylon thread. 
nylon thread for my lace closures just because the thread is very thin and you can't see it when you're going in between the closure. Now that little tab right there, you see that little tab? I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going to literally anchor that down. Just go right in the middle of that tab and go under a braid and pull it back. You won't even see it after that. And this is pretty much the finished product for the closure. Now my client has a widow's peak, so I did leave out that front part of her hair just so that it doesn't look kind of weird. So moving along to the hair bundles, this hair, I forgot to mention, is from Wiggins and I'm using the Body Wave 22 and 220 inches. This hair is so soft. And my client kept telling me like, oh my God, Jasmine, this hair is so soft, it's so light. I am going to install all three bundles. I am double wefting, so um, just pretty much doubling, doubling the tracks, I should say, and I'm folding over, so I'm not cutting anything so that when my client wants to remove this installation, she will be able to reuse this hair. And I'm pretty sure she probably will be able to reuse this closure as well because the closure did not need any customization whatsoever. So um, I'm pretty sure she can reuse this hair for another installation, which is really good because when we buy our hair bundles, you guys, we want to be able to use them and reuse them. All right, so that's one bundle down. I'm gonna continue going from side to side, double wefting and folding over the tracks and pretty much come to a conclusion. This is yep. the final look here. Yep, guys, if you can Don't mind my son in the background. So this is what the hair looks like in its natural pattern. Um, the body wave, I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten out the top a little bit. I did add some curls in it. I didn't do a lot. Um, she liked the hair the way it was, so we just kept it that way. This completes this quick video on this full lace closure sew-in, three bundles, and a two by six closure, which I definitely will recommend. Go ahead and check out the description box. There is some information in there on this hair, and make sure you check out my page on Facebook and Instagram at Classy Crowns. That is my business. That is where I will showcase all of my work. And if you guys are interested in, in the area and want to book an appointment with me, you can go ahead and do that. Also on my page, I am located in Michigan. Leave some comments below on other videos you guys want me to do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.